G'day you cheeky dogs, my name is Margie and I'm an Australian. Come on the grain and gold. Currently living in America, currently doing all of the updates for Bluey season 3C or part 3. So today's video is going to be a massive breakdown and my review as well of the new episode Cubby. If you're new to my channel I love to do all these easter egg breakdowns, finding all the hidden details, the Australian references that maybe audiences overseas miss or don't understand. So if you like that kind of stuff don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that like button as well if you love Bluey as much as I do. Now with that being said let's just jump straight into it because there's quite a lot in this episode and yes I did already have some idea of what I was going to say for this video because yeah it was released in Russia what December so months and months ago so we kind of already knew what was going on but there is a little bit difference though between like the English and the Russian dubs basically so we're going to go through that too. Also I want to talk about Bluey's voice at one stage during this which sounds an awful lot like Muffin's voice and now I'm wondering if they're the same voice actor so we're going to talk about that at the end. However of course I want to start off with our classic easter eggs which are the pineapple, the long dogs, the tennis balls and Chattermax and we have all four in this episode. So the pineapple we see at the very end of the episode in like the crash scene it's in the background there it's a little toy pineapple. For our long dogs we actually have two well technically three I guess in this episode. So the first one we see is when Bandit is going through the cubby and the first room he goes past has a little like blue long dog in the background there and then at the very end of the episode during that sort of crash scene we can see I think it's the exact same long dog who's like sprawled out on the ground but also we see a gold long dog which kind of represents the Australian cricket team because their colours are you know green and gold. So we see a little yellow or gold one in the background between the two cushions as well. Now we do of course have our tennis ball easter egg and our new tennis ball for this episode is on like the tennis tether ball game. So we see it on the pole that Bingo brings into the room. And of course we have our Chattermax easter egg. All through season three the animators have been hiding Chattermax in different places. This one of course was a bit obvious because Chattermax literally barged out dancing during the run and crash scene. So that was a bit of an easy one. Also if you don't live in Australia but you do want to watch Bluey as well I use NordVPN, that's how I watch Bluey, so I have a link for it down here. I of course am not sponsored by NordVPN, although I would love to be NordVPN, but I am just an affiliate with them, but this is what I use so that I can watch it, do my watch along streams with you guys, as well as do my breakdown videos and everything like that. So I'll leave a link for it as well, pinned at the top of the comment section down below with my tutorial video on how to download it, use it, as well as how to watch then through the free Australia ABC site as well after that. Now the next thing I think we should talk about is the meta joke. So kind of like the fourth wall jokes to us as the audience, which was basically this whole episode. It was a massive joke to us about the fact that the Gila house is just infinite space, infinite rooms. It doesn't make any sense how all of these rooms work together and all the space that's in it. And they basically gave a bit of a dig at us because it's always like this funny thing on Reddit and Facebook groups trying to figure out what is the Gila house layout and how does it work because it's constantly changing because it's changing for the story of course. But I do love that even Chili makes the joke as well of like 36 meters. How on earth could this be 36 meters? So it's definitely I think a bit of a meta joke to us as the audience. Interestingly though there are 24 different rooms in the cubby that the girls have made which is pretty impressive. So if you were able to name all 24 of those rooms try it out in the comment section down below. I'll be really interested to see if anyone can actually get all 24. My favourite reference was probably the netball courts. Netball being a very Australian sport as well so I love that they put that in there too. Something else really interesting was the music actually changed for every room they went into. So while sort of like the the main part of the music stayed the same. They would add like little different like bits on top of it. So when they went into the star room, for example, it sounded like more twinkly and things like that. So again, Geoff Bush, amazing, just beautiful music in this. And I think Joe Twist also helped out with the music on this one as well. So well done guys. Now, of course, the next big kind of joke and like lots of Aussie references is probably the cricket that's on the background. Now the commentator that we hear in the background is Adam Hills who is a famous Australian comedian. He also has this fantastic show called The Last Leg. There's clips of it all over YouTube so definitely go and watch it and it was quite perfect I think them picking Adam Hills being a comedian because there was a lot of kind of jokes in the commentating as well. The first joke of course was Barkles. So one of the dogs who's playing cricket is called Barkles. A great dog pun of course. The second one of course is the 
like the line at the end that I saw a lot of people picked up on and it was where one of the dogs wanted to like go for a run which is what you call when you know like you're running between wickets or if you say baseball terms bases almost they told him not to run and like what was it the order was stay and he obeyed so again a nice little like pun on like dog language and then the third kind of really funny joke was the fact that no cricket was played at all the entire time on the tv screen which is definitely I think like kind of a joke about the fact that test cricket which is what bandit was watching takes like five days it's a game that goes for five days it is ridiculous how long cricket takes it's one of the reasons why I don't like it because it's just so slow but the joke is the fact that like they're never really playing cricket like it's always like the commentator just talking or them standing around chatting or seagulls on the field because that's an actual thing so I love that the fact that that whole time on the tv we never saw them actually playing cricket it was just them standing around or like shots of other things that you would see during the game we do have a few details though about the actual cricket game that's going on so it is the Australian team the green and gold versus the Sri Lankan team now at first I thought maybe it could be the Indian team but they have more like dark navy hats and these were sort of a slightly brighter blue navy hat so most likely it's the Sri Lankan team we also know that this is set in Adelaide so they are playing at the Adelaide Oval and we know this because of the shot of St Peter's Cathedral now in the Russian dub they say St Peter's Basilica which is in Italy part of the Vatican City which is why at first I was like that can't be right because it looks nothing like St Peter's Basilica so then in my head I'm like this looks a lot like Westminster Abbey does that mean that they're showing that the Queen actually died because that's where her funeral was but no no it is St Peter's Cathedral in Adelaide and it's so obvious as well you can tell that I don't really watch cricket but all the time when they play at Adelaide Oval this cathedral is right at the front of the stadium or the oval so they always show shots of it during the games and you can see it easily on Google Maps and all the different images as well so that's why they included it in this so we know it's in Adelaide which means most likely this is also the second test of the series and that this is being held during December so kind of an interesting way of like putting it into the time frame also big shout out to Anthony Peng who commented a lot of this information on my live stream video watch along so if you guys haven't seen that you can go check it out but he probably taught me more about cricket in Adelaide in like a couple of comments than I had ever known in my entire life so thank you Anthony now of course we do also see the seagulls on the field and the seagull is like the little animation at the end credits and that's because yeah seagulls constantly sort of flood onto the Adelaide oval it's like a big kind of meme about it but at one point seagulls actually got hit by cricket balls as well it was quite sad it's like an actual thing that the seagulls are there and they're a bit of a nuisance we also see a clip of a bulldog commentator with a white hat now to me my first thought was this is maybe like a tribute to Shane Warne who constantly wore the white floppy hat and was really famous for it he of course passed away at quite a young age realistically so I thought maybe it might be a tribute to him but it could also be a tribute to Tony Grieg as well who was also a famous cricket commentator so it could be either one of those guys I feel like maybe they were trying to make a reference to the other thing as well that you might have noticed is when you hear Adam Hills commentating he says oh you know it's time for tea blah 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 blah. so tea is what they call the break in cricket it usually lasts for about 20 minutes so we can tell that that's how long bandit was like traveling around underneath the cubby but for those of you who don't know tea obviously it doesn't mean they're actually going to drink tea but tea is what we call breaks in australia whether it's for cricket or even at school so we don't call it recess in elementary and high school we call it morning tea and then you also you know at home you'd have afternoon tea and that just means like it's that time of day where you would have a break have a drink have a something to eat so that's what tea means it just means a break and yeah it's kind of a very Aussie and also British thing now the next thing I want to talk about is the movie and TV references that we saw in this episode so the first one that I noticed was the hot tub time machine reference so when bandits going through into one of the rooms there's like this massive disco ball the gnomes are in like a little pool or hot tub and my first thought of course was like oh this is hot tub time machine so I think maybe it's a little bit of a reference to that and then the other one which seems to be the most commonly picked up one is the community reference to fluffy town but it was the big blanket fort that they made in community and there's even like a full chase scene through it and it's kind of like a big gag about how there's all these different rooms and it's kind of ridiculous all the different ones they have and they're chasing professor professorson so I definitely think it's a bit of a reference to community as well we also have the book behind bingo in the library it looks like very like peppa pig style but it's a bunny holding a balloon which reminded me a lot of miffy as well now of course i'm sure a lot of you saw all the different toys scattered throughout the entire cubby i think some of my favorite ones though were probably 
visually seeing the yes no button underneath the couches like the pillows when they were taking them off which was really funny. I also though did spot the big peanut sticker in one of the rooms which was really cool as well as the book that we saw in the episode Unicorse about the queen and making the leather shoes as well as a chutney chimp monkey too which I feel like is the first time we've seen that toy. I don't know those were my favorite toys what were some of your favorite toys that you guys saw? Now speaking of time and the fact that it took you know bandit technically 20 minutes to go around in the cubby itself we do see the clock actually changing time for like the first time in Bluey. It's kind of a bit of a gag that the clocks never change time no matter what episode it is. But this is the first time we actually see the clock moving and changing time. It's got that little dog detail with the bone at the top of it which is cool but we see it change so it takes girls about two hours to build their cubby in total. So again I think maybe this is a little bit of a joke too at the fact that again Cricket just keeps going on and on and like a lot of time you don't know what's happening in the background while you're watching it but also that yeah these episodes whilst they're seven minutes long technically the game takes forever it is actually a really long time and it's always like this big gripe a lot of the time in like the Facebook groups from parents saying like oh these games are so hard to do or like the time frame is ridiculous. So I feel like this is one of those kind of jokes again of saying like, yeah, this is a game that like takes the whole day basically. Now let's talk about the voice section that sounds like Muffin in this. So there is one point where Bluey is making the bathroom and her mum bumps into her and she kind of yells at her mum. And this is kind of like the first time we really heard Bluey yell at her mum, but it just sounded so much like Muffin. So I'm going to play the voice clip here. Hey, mind the towel cupboard. Wash your feet. All right. So what do you guys think? thing because to me it sounded a lot like Muffin but I don't know like do you think it's the same voice actor who does Bluey and Muffin or do you think it's just the Bluey voice actor was imitating Muffin in this moment? Let me know in that comment section down below. Overall though the message of this episode was basically that bigger doesn't mean better and that you should be happy with the space that you have because maybe that's all that you actually need. So I don't know if this is like a bit of a like dig on consumerism or the fact that people always want bigger better houses when you don't really need bigger houses either. So I don't know I think it was a really interesting message but I did like the message as well that you know you should be happy with what you have because sometimes that's all that you do actually need. Overall for me I give this episode four and a half long dogs out of five. There were a lot of easter eggs, some really cool movie tv references and I did love the kind of meta jokes of us as the audience about the healer house layout as well as the time changing and things like that and all the cricket stuff was hilarious. So again let me know in that comment section down below how many long dogs would you give this episode and while you're there again don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey videos. I will be doing another live stream again on this Saturday US time. So whenever a new Bluey episode drops in Australia, which is usually 8am on a Sunday morning, I do a live stream, we do a bit of a watch along party and we just chat the whole time, a bit of a and a and it's just, I know, it's a really fun time. It's a good live stream. So definitely come back on Saturday and watch that with me. And then the following day, of course, I do the breakdown videos. There's also a new podcast out as well at the moment that's only available in Australia about the behind the scenes in Bluey. So that actually comes out later today. So I'll be listening to it. And if there's any like really cool information that I think is sort of something new and interesting to share with you guys, I'll make a video about it for you all tomorrow. So I'm also going to be doing a giveaway video this week for this big purple bluey udi that will be available to anyone because it's actually in Australia so it'll have to be mailed to wherever you are in the world. So I'll have my video for that coming out this week as well as a breakdown of the episode The Doctor from season 1-2. Otherwise, cheeky dogs, I've picked you out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!